Number two up. Tack. Tack in. It's heaven on earth. The more I sail her, the more I love her. Well, as a charter guest, what I think you would find is, first of all, a very friendly crew, uh, people who uh, put all of their effort to make sure that you have the best possible time, whatever you consider the best possible time is. I mean, we have everything from people who just want to go sailing, other people who want to enjoy uh, relaxing, other people want to go explore as part of, of, of seas and oceans that uh, they haven't seen before, whether it's at the tiller or whether it's on a sheet or just understanding how it works and how it all has to gel together. So when you're given a station, you need to understand how to interact with everybody else who's in the middle of their station and how what the coordination is and who runs the command. Get ready for attack. When you have a sailmaster, the captain has to listen to what the sailmaster says. Ready to bring your sails in as we Communication between you know, the bow and the stern has to go through the sailmaster. Four top up. He will give a command that will, uh, will affect how the tiller feels. Ready to attack. The tiller has to command as a consequence of the foresails and the wind conditions and the wave conditions. Happy on the bow. And of course, when you're at sea, everything changes. There are millions of variables to which you have to adapt every single second. Teamwork is important here, both physically and in the mind. It's very easy to get hurt because the, the stresses and the, and the, and the weights that are, are generated are tremendous. And so when coordination and teamwork works well, you minimize potential dangers. You've got to look at the crew like an engine. So the pistons and the valves have a certain timing. Teamwork is, is absolutely key.